Victor Weir. I'm an architect and a design lead here at Katera. Katera is an international, end-to-end, uh, -end, uh, fully vertically integrated building supplier. Uh, we're based in Menlo Park, California, and uh, we have design offices uh, in many cities around the country. Uh, here in Seattle, uh, we have one of the larger offices where we integrate architecture, uh, engineering, pre-construction services, as well as many other disciplines. Uh, we really became aware of uh, automated parking out of necessity. We had some urban infill sites which were very constrained and uh, required uh, innovative approaches that would minimize excavation and, uh, and concentrate parking in very, in very constrained sites. We worked really closely with uh, CityLift to determine what system of the uh, different systems they offered would be most appropriate for our specific site. Uh, we evaluated uh, tower and puzzle systems, considering both alternatives, uh, and ultimately landed on a, a tower system as being the most appropriate for our particular site, our, our particular client. So the benefits uh, to us are clear. Uh, while the, there is an initial upfront cost, the uh, mitigation of risk to the construction process is substantial. Uh, we get to minimize excavation, again, which is always a risky thing. Uh, we got to uh, provide parking in less space than you would typically uh, dedicate to a, to a parking garage. And we also have the potential to repurpose that space in the future if uh, the need for cars changes. Anthony Jansen, project manager with Henbart in Seattle, Washington. Henbart is a commercial real estate firm in Seattle, Washington, and we focus on developing, managing, and uh, controlling a portfolio of properties. The projects that we're focused on right now uh, are mixed-use development projects uh, within the Seattle area. 312 Central uh, is a mixed-use development project in Kirkland, Washington, and it's got a mix of uh, large format retail and residential. Automated parking was suggested to us uh, by a contractor um, as we were working through uh, different cost scenarios um, and then also as a way for us strategically to attack some legacy parking and transportation requirements in smaller markets. Experience working with City Lift uh, has been tremendous. Uh, they uh, were eager to become part of the team, very solution based. Right out of the gate, City Lift really helped um, with the cost of the project. Um, anytime you're going below grade uh, with excavation and concrete, it gets very expensive, and City Lift's ability to minimize that scope uh, helped right out of the gate. My name is Samantha Beadle and I am an associate at GGLO in Seattle. GGLO is an integrated design firm. We do landscape architecture, planning, and interiors. I first learned about automated parking within the past couple of years. I, I kind of had heard about it on the periphery, but primarily we end up getting into a tight spot on a job and uh, my boss said go talk to somebody else in the office and he gave us suggestions of a few different manufacturers. So City Lift really has been such a boon to the project that I'm currently working on. It is an incredibly tight site with a high water table and an awkward shape and we really weren't sure if we were going to be able to build the project given all the parking requirements that we'd need. So getting City Lift on board really has made this project possible and we're incredibly excited to, to find this product. I'm Shane Reber, work with SNS Consulting Group, 50% owner. We work on development projects in the Seattle area and east side. We learned about automated parking through one of our uh, development firms uh, that we were serving and uh, through one of our general contractors and we realized that there was an application for a lot of the properties here that were maybe 
on the questionable side regarding de the development potential, it just couldn't meet the potential for the projects uh, with the current uh, ramped parking systems. You know, in the Pacific Northwest, we have a lot of hillsides, we have a lot of challenging lots. Uh, we also have a number of properties that are just oddly configured, and you'll see that in some of our buildings, you know, structures that seem to U-shape and weave in and out and around other properties, right? <laughs> Which makes for a very complicated parking yeah, solution, right? Experience with City Lift's been pretty positive. I mean, it's been a lot of engagement right from the beginning uh, when we're in contact with City Lift. And he immediately set a meeting, kind of walked us through what they were capable of. I gave him our requirements and started ripping apart the systems. <laughs> <laughs> saying like this will work this one we do we could troubleshoot together so we did a lot of problem solving and made projects that were probably not quite going to uh achieve their potential and therefore not pencil uh, start the pencil my name is david ramirez i'm with essex construction i'm a project superintendent City Lift has been extremely professional, safety conscious, has met all our deadlines. Uh, I've been extremely impressed with the uh, professionalism and the quality that City Lift has put out. I had prepared greatly for expecting a lot of headaches and heartburn and none of that ever came up. Financially, we didn't have to go down into the dirt to get a second layer or level of parking to house enough parking spaces for the project, which saved the owner a significant amount of money. It's been a really good selling point for um, tenants when they come in, being able to see this system uh, versus just a standard parking area. There's uh, a, a lot of tenants when they come in to look for a place to live, they've been looking for parking for their cars because they are not wanting to take public transportation all the time. And so to have this option in such a small space is a big advantage for them. I think soon this is going to be a requirement, to be honest with you. I don't think that we're going to be going down with parking garages any longer. I think it's going to go vertical. A lot of the projects, they're limited by real estate um, with the city requirements and with the neighboring requirements. Right now we're building zero lot lines on all of our projects, so we can't, there's no way to go but down. Down is extremely expensive and this is a great alternative to that.